from Kate's Made Creations. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a single crochet. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so for the single crochet, what you need to do, or what you need to have, rather, is um, you need a crochet hook. This one is size 5.5, and I believe that is equivalent to a size I. I had ordered these from a website, candirect.com, and everything comes from China, so I don't know if that's the reason it doesn't have the letters, but either way, regardless. And then yarn and some scissors. Okay, let's get started. So first, to wrap the yarn, to start the slip knot, you want to put it around your fingers like so. Wrap it around and make an X. And I like to hold it right where it crosses. And then you bring it and hold it just like that. And then you take your hook, put it underneath the first and over the second, and then pull that second loop through. And then you just simply take your fingers out of that yarn and pull that slip knot tight. And then separate these two pieces and keep pulling them. And you don't want to pull it so it's too tight, but you want to get it so it's pretty close to the hook. And then you can hold the yarn however is most comfortable for you. This is how I like to do it underneath the ring in the middle. And then I hold the knot with my thumb and my middle finger. So to begin our single crochets, you simply yarn over. So in a pattern, if you see Y-O, that does mean yarn over. So you bring it behind the hook and over. Behind and over. And then you pull through the loop. So over, pull through, over, pull through. Do it a little faster here. And this is as basic as you can get with your stitches. Yarn over, pull through. And this could make a cute little friendship bracelet. I don't know, you know, maybe you might have some young daughters or sons even. They might want to make one for their friends. This make a cute little friendship bracelet. And that is about it for single crochets. It is not difficult at all. Um, yep, let's just do it one more time, I guess. Yarn over and pull through. And then to tie off, I like to make the loop a little bit bigger. So in case they accidentally pull, I don't lose that loop. You simply cut it. And then you want to pull that string through the loop. And there you are. And that is how you single crochet. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.